What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're doing something a little quirky, a little fun, a little different today. And that is, uh, we're doing a weight loss VR challenge to see if yours truly can lose any weight at all from playing VR over the course of the next 30 days. And um, the reason for this is not because I feel like I need to lose weight. I feel like I could stand to lose some LBs. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the thinnest guy in the park. That's a phrase somewhere. But I mean, I've wanted to do this idea for a long time. I thought it would be really interesting to see if you could replace a traditional workout routine with virtual reality. Because if you can, that's great, because VR is super fun and going to the gym sucks. I mean, I'd rather get kicked in the balls three times a day than go to the gym. It's horrible. So um, I think this will be a cool experiment. And uh, for all of you health nuts out there, all you fitness gurus, I'm sure you're probably cringing right now going, Kyle, this is not a practical or proper workout method because you should be lifting weights and building muscle if you really want to lose weight properly. And I understand. I get it. I'm not claiming to be a fitness guru myself, nor am I claiming this methodology of workout to be practical or even beneficial to you. All I'm curious to know is if you can lose weight through this super unorthodox method. So try not to take it too seriously. I'm certainly not. Uh, but the other thing that I will say that I'm going to try to do is watch what I eat a little bit more for this next 30 days, because I think that would give um, this experiment a fighting chance. Like it's going to be bad if I'm just eating cake for every meal, but uh, I'm not going to be implementing a fad diet at the same time. I'm not going to be cutting out all, all carbs. I might just be refraining from having that third cookie at the buffet line, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I think nutrition and diet is uh, is important. It's an important factor to losing weight, if, if, even if you are exercising. Now, I did give some consideration as to what games I'd actually be playing for this challenge, and what I settled on was just a single title, uh, and that title being Hollow Point. This is an indie game that uh, is it's, uh, archery, um, for those of you who are unaware, and Joe Durbin of UploadVR.com actually did a test. He, he tested uh, about a dozen or so VR games to see which ones would be the best at burning calories, and he found Hollow Point to be one of the highest ranking titles, um, actually burning anywhere from seven to 800 calories per hour. It's a metric F ton of calories to be burned uh, from playing a video game nonetheless, so that's what we're gonna be settling on today. Um, as far as frequency and duration, I'm gonna be doing hour-long sessions, so 60 minutes per session in VR playing Hollow Point uh, for four times a week, at least four times a week. I'm setting a minimum for myself with no maximum cap. I mean, I could do five days a week if I wanted to or more, but four, four days a week for an hour a day is the absolute minimum for the next 30 day term. Now, as I go about jumping around looking like an idiot in VR, I will be tracking some of the metrics there. So I did pick up this fitness band from Garmin. It's the uh, Vivo Smart HR Plus. Uh, it's actually one of the more highly reviewed fitness bands that I could find online. And it seems to track most of the things I need it for, including heart rate, uh, steps, calories, intensity minutes. The hell's that? Can't wait to find out what intensity minutes are. But anyway, I'll put a link to this in the description below for those of you interested. Seems to be pretty good. I already like sort of how it, it how it looks and feels uh, and how the how it charges and things like that. But I'm gonna be putting it on for the first time today when we kick off Hollow Point day one, and I think we're actually ready to do that now. Let's let's go ahead and strap into the. No, wait. So in order to find out how much weight I've lost by the end of this term, first one needs to know how much weight one weighs. So, to the scale we go. All right, so there she is. It's been a while, it's been a while, scale. You look a little dusty there. Apparently I've been ashamed to use you lately. Now before I step on this scale, I wanna quickly document exactly what I'm wearing so I know what to wear when I weigh myself again 30 days from now. So I've got my, uh, my faded black jeans here. Okay, nothing in my pockets, nothing, wallet, no phone, no, no nothing. I've got a no belt either. Oh, that's my underwear, don't look at that. Uh, I've got a Paul's Hardware shirt on, okay? Good quality, but uh, very light. And I've actually got uh, my lavalier um, transmitter uh, off to the side here. So I'm not weighing that because it, it does weigh uh, something. So I'm, I'm not wearing that, just, uh, just the actual microphone itself. And of course I'm carrying the camera. I will be carrying the camera on day 30 as well. So here we go, stepping on the scale. Gotta stand up straight. 164, no, I can't read. 167.4, don't look at my feet. My feet are weird. Uh, so that's that's how much I weigh, and um, I'm gonna try to shed as much off of that number as I possibly can in the next month or so, in the next four weeks. So um, ladies and gentlemen, I think 
we are at that point where I can finally strap into a VR headset and play some damn video games and hopefully become less fat. Let's do that now. Right, so that was a lot of fun, actually, and uh, equally exhausting. I know you can't tell right now because I'm all showered and changed and stuff, but I was sweating a great deal after that hour, guys. I mean, my, my legs were burning even just like 30 minutes in, um, which is also a huge reminder that I'm severely out of shape. Uh, but hopefully it gets better and gets easier as I do this more regularly. Hopefully by the end of the 30-day the period, I will feel a bit more strong and uh and not not peter out so quickly but i did do the full hour so congrats to me you can hold your applause till the end i know um but uh yeah it was, it was pretty cool I, I definitely feel like i got a good workout i think is the important thing that being said there were a couple snags and issues along the way uh just you know nature of the vr platform that sort of held back the overall experience the first one being the obvious the cord coming from the hmd was just such a pain in the ass i'm um, getting tangled on my on my legs on my, my ankles my feet i even pulled out the the cables out of the little module uh, like four or five times just because especially in a game like hollow point where you're turning around constantly and moving uh, quite a bit uh, it was definitely a huge annoyance and i feel like if this was to be a sustained uh, in order to be a sustainable workout method i would want a wireless chipset on that bad boy like i, I, th I think the vive or htc has recently been pushing the tp cast which is like a wireless uh, 60 gigahertz module that connects to the vive um and it's wireless so you're completely untethered I would love to get one of those. I think that's kind of necessary if you are going to be using VR to work out. The second thing were the earbuds. So if you notice at the beginning, I had some earbuds. Towards the end, I actually took them out. I took them out probably within the first 20 minutes because as I started to sweat, it was really gross, I know, uh, it started to sort of lubricate the, the ear pieces and it started like just falling out of my ears. Anytime I'd turn around, it would just fall out. And it was really annoying. So I eventually just took the earbuds out and had to use a speaker because I still wanted that upbeat hollow point music to uh, get me in the, in the in the zone and stuff but uh, the other thing I would say is you could use I could have used like some over the ear headphones just some standard head uh, headphones but um, I don't currently have any that have a tight enough clamping force and those also would just fly off my head um, in a game like hollow point so uh, something to consider there and the last issue that I was sort of experiencing is sort of like the lesser of the three evils that I'm talking about here but uh, it was space physical space and, and granted I do have a dedicated area here in the office but like the dimensions barely meet the requirements for uh, room scale support for the HTC Vive so I did feel quite limited in just how much I was able to roam around in the game and that sort of held me back because there was always that thought in the back of my mind that I might you know slam my hand into a metal edge on my shelving or puncture the monitor with one of the controllers things like that um, kept me from being able to really let go and go full throttle in the game itself so uh, there's some things to consider there if you were attempting to go this route uh, for for your exercise routine uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention here and, and then I'll close this video up is the data tracking that we picked up from the uh, the vivo smart HR plus the Garmin um, I, I do have some metrics here uh, but uh, they don't really fall in line with what I was seeing in the VR, the upload VR uh, article. Um, and that's probably, there's a number of factors at play that uh, could be causing that variance. But uh, I was only seeing 231 calories burned in that whole hour. That seems, I mean, I definitely felt and looked like I burned a lot more than around 200 calories. But I'll, I'll keep a close eye on I'll do some more investigation as time goes on in these next four weeks, but distance seems a bit more in line, 2.38 miles. So almost two and a half miles, not bad for being in my room the whole time. Uh, and that was at an average speed of 1.7 miles per hour. And I think I did look at my uh, at the band at one point and saw my heart rate going up at around 90 beats per minute. I don't know what my target you know, heart rate is supposed to be or anything like that, but it sounds higher than it normally is, which is like five, I don't know, probably be dying if it was five. 
But honestly, uh, I think that sort of wraps up what I have to say in this video, guys. Uh, part two is gonna be around 30 days from now. Bear in mind, I actually have to make the video after the 30 days. So let's, let's say 32 to 35 days from this date, uh, a video part two will go up. In part two, I'll also sort of go over whether or not VR makes sense as a workout tool. And this isn't something that I really considered um, at the beginning of making this little series. I was just like, let's see if I can lose weight. And now I'm like, well, what if it works? What if it's actually really great and I wanna continue doing it? I'm gonna give my full opinion on using VR as a workout tool um, in part two. So that should be pretty exciting as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that and a bunch of other tech content that's gonna be coming uh, much sooner. Uh, but that's gonna do it for now, guys. Thank you so much. Be sure to toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.